I achieved a little bit, but I put it back in the bag. You never know, right? You never know. And these are just things that I bought over like Labor Day weekend, things that we need. <laughs> Kitty cats playing with the, like the tripod for the camera. Oh, there it's Gates. Moo moo. Okay, buddy. He's so cute though. But he's so cute. And his purrs are so loud. But I just thought it'd be fun to open these with you guys. So some things are for here. Some things are intended for the tiny house. I'm just gonna dive into it because I can't wait. Okay, the thing that I literally couldn't wait on, I love shopping from Girlfriend Collective. They are, I'm pretty sure, completely vegan. Let me actually read this real first. There's a little tag that came with the shorts. It says, let's talk some trash. We're, we are Girlfriend Collective. We make active wear from recycled materials because old water bottles and fishing nets look better on you than they do polluting the earth. It's true. Uh, the item you're holding was made from an ethical factory that guarantees fair wages, free catered meals, and a safe and healthy workplace. You know, like all things should be. We use eco-friendly dyes and make sure any wastewater used is carefully cleaned and cooled before it's released. Any left- I don't even know that was like a thing. Um, the cool part. <laughs> uh, any leftover dye and mud is recycled into roads and sidewalks because why not? Speaking of dyes, our unique dyeing process can result in some irregular, irregular in color, yada yada. When finished with the item, give it to a friend to have a second life or find out if we can recycle it for you at their website. Okay, we opened some windows in the sliding door. I was closing them for sound, but that's really what keeps the breeze going through here, so bear with me, slash I'll pause if there are loud sounds. But these guys, you basically would have already seen. I have a green, school bus number one. So you would have seen me in the green pair that I have that I love wearing all the time, so I figured I needed a second pair. I got gray, it will match a lot of things, and I already have worn them once, so very comfortable, and I'll probably wear them later today. I'm also actually wearing this skirt. Boop. I got it from Amazon, and this came in recently, within the past like week or two, and I have been getting a good amount of wear out of it. It has pockets on both sides. <laughs> the buttons are fake though, I will say. They are just there for show. But I really like this skirt, so I figured I would also mention that. And lengthwise, I know you can't quite tell, it goes just below my knee. So, <laughs> that's how far it goes. Mm -hmm. I, ooh, I'm pretty sure I know what's in this box. Ooh. <gasps> Comes in a bag. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. We just got a second kitty joining us down here. They probably love all the crinkly paper. They do love it. We always put it in there. Technically, it's like a pet cage crate guy, but we use it when we need to keep them separate for like feeding them or just if one of them needs a little supper time. Or they'll nap in it, but we love putting that in it because they love the crinkly paper. <laughs> Don't eat that, Moo Moo. Love you. Don't eat it. Mumu, can you just lean somewhere else, my love? Thank you, darling. So the second order from a company called Attitude, it's like attitude, but with an E. Maybe it's like eco-friendly attitude. I don't know. But they are, I also believe, a completely vegan company. They sell bedding and pajamas that are made from a, it's like a bamboo silk. It's sateen, they call it, but it is super eco-friendly because bamboo is fantastic and awesome and it regenerates itself so well and super sustainable. So anything we're able to do in bamboo, I love doing. For example, our toilet paper is made out of bamboo and so many other things. So if you haven't made that switch, look into it. It's a very easy thing. Um, but I'm like so excited that I don't even wanna show you guys. I do this to my husband. I talk things in circles because I feel like once I show you the moment's over, and I'm just like so stoked that I want the moment to last forever. The main reason I bought from this company 
are the pillowcases in this bag. But I figured if I was getting pillowcases, I had to get a PJ item too. And the one that I was eyeing the most are these gorge pants. OMG. So it seems like in the front, so it's not like bunched or stretchy in the very front. And then you've got that drawstring that is a true drawstring. I can feel that going through. But then from the like side on and in the back, it's a bit scrunchy. And the sizes were like small slash medium and then a large slash extra large. I had only a few different color options. This green was not one of them or I probably would have gotten the green. I believe that it was white, which I just thought like white PJ pants. That's dangerous. I already have a set actually of white shorts and then a white button up top from Tala. Love. Um, they're a little tight right now, let's be honest. I'm not really wearing those, but I do love those. But they are not the white, the true white when I first got them anymore. So it was either that or then I think a black option. And I just felt like these were so elegant. Oh, it's so soft. If I don't put it down, I'll put it down. The pillowcases reason I wanted to get these was because, and they come in this cute little drawstring bag, is we currently have flax linen bedding, which I do love. It is great. But they are our pillowcases. They're beige, and they pick up a lot of, whether it's like a hair product that I'm going to bed with like an oil in my hair, or just natural hair oils. I'm trying not to wear foundation as much. It's something that I'm really working on since working from home now, where I don't feel like I have to be like, out and around all these people all the time and like wearing a full face of makeup and it's given my face an opportunity to actually heal so like it's not perfect and I will dive through my face routine a bit more like another point and kind of talk about what my skin's what I've been dealing with but I would wear a lot of makeup and I would end up with all these makeup spots even when I would wash my face on my pillow so I was like why did I ever get a light pillow color I don't know I've learned I won't do it again so I wanted to go for a deeper color so we went for their moss green pillowcase set. Super soft, same exact material as the PJs. And when we move, because we have a king size bed now, but that's not gonna fit in the loft, at least how I'd like to. Like Maybe it would fit in the loft of the tiny house, but I'd prefer just to have more space around the mattress for other things, or just for floor space, than having a bigger mattress. So we're definitely gonna get a queen. I'd really like to get an avocado mattress, but I was just looking at their prices, and I don't know if it's gonna be in the budget with everything else going on. We'll see. But we're definitely getting a new queen size mattress, and that means that we will need new bedding, and I want to buy it from Etitude. So I kind of felt like this was my step one into buying from their bedding sets. And my bet day is coming up. It's actually September 16th, and I have requested from some family members gift cards to Etitude, and then I will be able to just buy the whole set. So, excited. And these are like a wide leg. Mm. Love. Love, love. Next up is from Form, which is the sports bra and activewear company that I recently bought my green and then black mesh sports bra from that I did mention in a prior video and you guys would have definitely seen me wearing a ton. The idea behind the company is, well first of all, it is science based. They have a bunch of different pictures on their website showing you like before and after pictures of people's x-rays because the point of the company and the clothing that they provide is to help with your posture. And as I stand here, I mean, don't have great posture and also my shoulders they should be back. That's just how, you know, people are supposed to stand, but we don't stand the way we're always supposed to stand. My back is a little wonky as is. I was on, probably on Instagram. Honestly, you guys, Instagram ads are way too good. They get me. I don't know how they pick things that are so good for me, but they need to stop. I need to stop. I saw this on Instagram and I looked at the website and they got me. I bought one and after getting it and wearing it and realizing that it's not just a gimmick and noticing how I actually have like proper posture, how my shoulders are back, how they should be, I was sold and I got a second one. So, that was cute. Great choice. Nobody likes a slouch. <laughs> the thing that I was able to notice the most personally myself is when my hands are on my side, just normally right now, my hands are in front of my leg. 
I don't know if you can like kind of see that. I know I'm wearing a skirt, so this makes it hard in the cutaway I won't have a skirt on. But my hands just kind of like rest in front of my leg. But when I'm wearing the bra, my hands are like back more in the middle of my leg. Which to me says that this is doing something. It's adjusting my posture. And Jared says that he can tell a difference also in like the evenness of my back a little bit because my back is uneven. So if I'm able, I mean, okay, these are a little bit pricey, let's be honest, but if it's able to do something that can actually change your posture in an x-ray, I think it's worth the, I want to say it's like $168, but to me, that is worth it. I have bought some clothing items that are over $100. They aren't doing that kind of thing for me. They don't always last a super long time. So I, I am a happy camper. So the first one I got had a lot more mesh. This one has a little bit less mesh in the front. I thought that that would make it a lot better, more versatile for being able to wear it with different things. And then just giving a little bit more air because although I did like the mesh up here, it was just, it didn't breathe as much. And it's called their Power Bra and it's in sand is the color. Their little blurb here, it says, Formwear is a transformative solution for posture training and lifestyle improvement. Fabric is breathable, four-way stretch, performance fabric. It affects your health, mind, appearance, and performance. Functionality for posture training, daily wear, training in gym, yoga, and Pilates. For how my back is, I felt like I really needed something that was going to help me. I also, I've been meaning to go to the chiropractor for ages. And with moving, I kind of told myself, like, I will go in between the not working at my job anymore, working from home, and, like, before leaving, I have more time. I will keep you guys updated on that, too. But for now, I figured this could not hurt. And it's cute. And you gotta have sports bras. So, multi-purpose. Getting into the Amazon boxes. So, this would be a good time to let you know that I actually already received an Amazon order less than a week ago that I opened. Has things very similar to this category in these two Amazon boxes. But they were not all the right size. Therefore, I had to return some and buy some more. So let me just real quick show you what I opened last time and then we'll dig into these. As I think I mentioned before, I was wanting to buy some new containers to put things in in the kitchen that just had a little bit more symmetry and that had different lids because even though I love mason jars, don't get me wrong, love them, they can get rusty sometimes. I then repurchased some or plastic, but I wasn't a big fan of that and just hasn't been my favorite situation. On Amazon, I bought a couple things to help me out. First item looks like the Spice Jars. Oh my gosh, how cute. This is so precious. To be honest, they look a little smaller than I thought here. Let me first show it to you like this. They are 20 Spice Jars that have bamboo lids. They are glass. They are supposed to be 2.5 ounces, which this very well could be. Um, this is 2.8, but a lot of my different spices were 2.5, which is why I thought that this would be a good size. But that's what's going on there. It's like going to there. Too small. And I am working on when I get something, if it's not right, return it. As I am downsizing in this house, which I'm sorry I keep mentioning that so much, as I'm downsizing, I'm noticing I have a lot of things that I probably in the moment when I got it knew that I should return it or get a different one, get a different size, or within like 30 days or something figured out that it wasn't going to work. But I just held on to it. I waited too long or I just got it, made it work, and then didn't want to keep it for the long haul because it wasn't like just right for the project. So, going to be patient. I'm going to return these. I'm going to get one a size larger. But I'm still going to put a link because these are really cute. And they do have all the different size options online. So they do have them in larger ones. But I still should show this to you. It's a pretty thick glass, which is awesome. And then it's a bamboo lid with this silicone 
seal around it and it does say that it's airtight so that was one of my biggest things is I didn't want to have spices or anything in a container that wasn't airtight and then it starts clumping more than necessary nobody wants that still cute still cute just not the size that I am looking for oh and then it comes with labels that I will show you because it's not breaking a seal or anything. Hopefully they can resell these. I already have like over 100 seasonings pre-printed and then some blank ones on the back and use by. Convenient. All about convenience. If it's cute and convenient and vegan, I'm here. I'm down for it. Second thing is these glass spice jars, also from the Amazon. And the intent of these was for my spices behind me, not my spices, my latte mixes behind me. Because right now I have them in these mismatched glass jars. Mismatched glass jars. And my only concern is maybe these won't be as airtight. But in the photo, they're showing it with spices, and it's got to be able to keep things to a certain degree, and then I should be going through them faster anyways. Right now, this is what we have going on, so I'm going to put these three in these containers, and it will be much cuter. There is clearly a little bit of space that you can kind of see in through there. I'm just hoping that it works well, but I will stay conscious. fantastically I like using them instead of foil or parchment paper these are alt cooking hub yep silicone roasting and baking mats ideal for air fryer and toaster oven 100% food grade silicone BPA free and food safe non-stick and uses less oil even heat and air circulation multi-purpose reusable easy to clean and store which all of those things are what I was looking for I loved ours, but they were just getting very dirty. Sometimes we need to replace them. I wish that I didn't have to replace them as often. Not that I replace them often. I just wish that I could replace them less often than we even do as is. It's been over a year, a couple years, since I did do those. So just to have reference there. But I just wanted better about cleaning them. Right now we've been using foil in there since getting rid of the other ones. So I put through this order, and I like that they're made for... The air fryer, that way they can fix the air fryer well. Voila. Plastic, plastic. Plastic recycling. One piece of silicone baking mat, one piece of non-stick oven liner. I believe that that should be on the very bottom where like all the crumbs and everything in the grease falls. Don't quote me if you buy it. Look it up. Make sure. But, cone part my so. Those two. And then it also comes with this guy, which is similar to something that I had purchased previously that I was very excited about. But that item has not turned out as convenient and as usable as I thought it would be. Let me grab it so I can show you. So this is one of the guys that we are selling. And I bought it off the Amazon before. I felt like it was very cute. I loved the color. The idea is to put the food for in the air fryer. The brand is Molide, M-O-L-I-D-E, in case anyone is interested for some reason or um, wants to know not to get it, <laughs> depending. But I just found that it was not very user friendly. It was annoying to clean. The concept being that it cools down a lot faster. You can put things in and out of the air fryer. But I just think this will work a lot better and this also makes it so that your food can like breathe underneath 
when it's air frying because you want to have space under the food for the air fry. So this is not my brightest idea. thought it would be great. It's big, it's kind of clunky in the way, and it always doesn't hold its form in the best way. Just saying, in case you're thinking about it, not my favorite. Might work differently for you guys, but this is now what we're gonna try. Okay, okay. Yes! Yay! I kind of like, I didn't like forget what was in here. But I like kind of spaced in the moment on what was in here. I'll show you. I have already bought a couple. I knew that I didn't get more of those. And so I was like, what the heck is in this box? But I'll show you what I'm talking about. These jars. So similar to the spice jars, they have the wooden top with the silicone airtight ring. Nooch. I love the smell of nutritional yeast. They have many different sizes. I will link these down below. I'm gonna buy a bunch of them. That's my main intent for reorganizing the kitchen is with these containers. So, so far I have them in three different sizes, but I didn't have labels. So I ordered labels, and this is a nice hefty envelope here. Get ready to feel proud of yourself. So ready. And I know that they have a nutritional yeast one in here, because, uh checked and peeked on the list, I was like, but what if they don't have the vegan -y things? Here it is, label checklist. All of the things they have. This is cute. They are dishwasher safe labels and water safe, so you don't have to worry about that. Baking extra, oh, there's one that says vegan. Vegan protein powder, yeah, it's fun. I would definitely have more than one container of vegan protein powder, so that would be kind of silly to use. Nutritional yeast is gonna be, I just saw pancake mix, oat milk, cashews, corn, date, goji berries, hazelnut, macadamia nut, raisin, pine nut, pumpkin seeds, pistachios, cookies, <laughs> there's cookies twice. They know what's up. Nutritional yeast. How do I want to do that? Comes off super easily, it seems. Yeah. And then I just want to make sure it's straight. It's tilting this way. Let's see how easy it is to take off. I'm gonna have to figure out a good way to do this with doing so many to make sure everything is straight. That'll do, Pig. It looks pretty good. Third time's the charm. So I kept having it lower on the right, so I got it to where I thought, and then I did a slight up tweak. <laughs> but we'll see. Ooh, the other big plus of these, though, is that they stack. So on top, it's indented here, so you can put others on top of them. I figure it's great for space saving, and then just for safety, because I'd probably stack things anyways. The things that I was just, like, kind of losing my mind about are these Mora Ceramics Mixing Bowls. So they are two sets of two. It comes with the smaller two in one set and then the larger two in the other. It's 2.5 and 1.6 quarts in the smaller and then 5.5 and 3.6. Another plus I felt of getting the containers, new containers for all of our spices is they're clearly coming in boxes with packaging so I'm saving the packaging that they come in so that I can securely repack them and send them to where we end up moving to. So that will be very convenient when it comes down to it. Multi-purpose, you know? If it was gonna happen anytime, might as well be right before I move. Don't forget to practice self-care. Love, Mora. Mora Ceramics. They are very similar to our plates and our bowls that we have as regular serving dishes. Ooh, I love this feeling. So I thought that it would look great sitting out 
and then great next to our dishes. I had a set of three plastic mixing bowls that I was not the biggest fan of and it had a strainer but then we had other strainers so I was like why do I even have this so we posted that for sale. I'm very visual. I like matching. I love interior designing stuff. I don't always hit it right on the top the first try or the first time around or something. I do a lot of inspiration from Pinterest and such. I'm going to take this out. I'm having a hard time opening this box. And oftentimes it's a little guess and check with things, but it's enjoyable. Learn as you go and get better every time, hopefully. Microwave safe, dishwasher safe, oven safe, designed with love, freezer safe, lead free, steel gold not recommended. The bigger guys, here is one. Oh, I love these. I don't know where I'm going to store them. I like don't want to put them away though because of how cute they are. Oh, my arms. Oh, from the arm workout yesterday. My arms are killing me like right on the inside. Full set of mixing bowls. So I've got all four in there right now. You know, it's like going back to school, buying school stuff, makes you excited for school. Going back to the kitchen, cooking stuff, being healthy, YouTube channel, cooking stuff, going back to school. Loop, loop. And now that I knew that I was looking for something with higher ounceage, that actually gave me the availability to buy something that I've been eyeing but thought was too big. So I really worked out in the end. As you guys saw, we have jars for like baking and cooking ingredients that are a glass bottom with a wood top and then a little indent so you can stack them. And I was not able to find something that had the same wood top and stackability and also shade of wood that would match well with the other containers I already bought. So I kind of just accepted it, like not a problem, it'll work. But then when I knew I could go up an ounceage, I knew exactly what I was going to buy. These are from the same company that I bought the other ones from and they are just a little bit bigger. Let me get a spice jar to show you the comparison. So it's pretty similar to the same size as our spices are now. So I am very excited about this. The little things in life, right? I love organization. Everything belongs somewhere. And I think that those things want to look nice and I want to help them look nice. And it's so visually appealing just looking in your cabinet and just for your mind, just having it be organized, symmetrical, at least that's me. Even a little OCD. Maybe you are too. Hopefully, let me know. Is there anybody out there that's like kind of like me in that regard? Hopefully. That'll make me feel a little less crazy. But we're all a little crazy. I digress. Slash will continue. These jars also come with labels, just like the other ones did. It is a bit redundant, unfortunately, because I needed to purchase three of these boxes. So now I literally have three of these sets of the labels but when I like going through all these jars we do have a lot of mason jars I'm going to sell online and I'm going to sell all of these extra stickers or at least include them with in case people would like to purchase them and use them on mason jars or on something else. It's 10 in a box so that gives me 30 and we had um 25 inch spices in there so that should work very well and then the other thing I got was a similar jar to the other ones but more of the medium size that I think will work very well for everything across the board. They come with three in a box. We got I got three boxes and so now we have nine more of these and they are just the they're all the same size. I know the other one I got came with five and it was like two of the small ones, two mediums and one large and they also have the stackable lid and then the inside is just bamboo wood and this little guide help section because they are airtight. These are going to be really fun. Maybe, you know, I've been so productive today. I've been looking to kind of just like sit down, relax a little bit. Maybe I'll sit down with some of the spice jars and put the labels on them and see if I can get them to like, you know, be symmetrical and looking cute. So I think that's what I'm going to do after I open the last set of boxes. But that's at least the current plan. Okay. 
So this last item, I'm not gonna put together right now, but I will open it, and we have two of them. So... All right, we're kind of getting in there. Like, why am I taking this apart if I'm not putting it together? But whatever. So they are two bar stools that will ideally work perfect in the tiny house because I have like a couple big things that for me are non-negotiables in the tiny house. One of which, along with the bathtub, one of which is having a kind of like a desk window seat. I sort of picture like I love going to coffee shops and sitting at the window and being able to see outside and just get work done. So I'm kind of trying to duplicate that feeling and have like a wood countertop that I can have um, these two stools at and I'll have a huge window and look out onto our property and I can just sit there with my laptop and I can work. So I needed some chairs for that and conveniently these chairs actually work perfectly for the counter we have over here with a little overhang. So I figure I might as well put them together because we can use them here. We're still here for a month and a half and then um, we'll pack them up and bring us what, bring them with us to the tiny. I mainly just want to be able to show you guys the seat. I found these on Wayfair and they did come in two options a wood seat or all black metal and I picked a wood seat because the bottom and the sides are metal and the color themes of our tiny are white, black, and woods. So this is the seat to the chair. So I really liked the wood here on the bottom. It's a nice, thick, solid wood. And then of course the bottom of the stool will just attach here. And I think that it will be perfect for being able to sit in, being able to also lounge in. There's enough room to put a pillow on the back of it. So I think that it will be great for our purposes here and in the tiny. Currently, yeah, this is just what happens. But with all the packaging, we got Mr. Moo Moo here, Mr. Fuxel. And we got the whole gang hanging out somewhere into packaging. Mr. Boo Boo. Hey, Mr. Joe. The bud. When you get it into you. When you get it into you. Don't you touch that smell funny? Does that smell new? Does that smell new? But if you're eating, don't. That's called tape. It's attached. So in that little cutaway, like the silicone air fryer baking guys, we have since been using them successfully. They are kind of a little big for our air fryer. But they do say that you can cut them, especially this one. They mention that you can cut them. They're all about this size, so this is how they fit. It does come over the edge just a smidge, but it doesn't interfere with how it works, how it closes, anything like that. It does say on the site that you can cut this one, so we'll probably cut that. And I don't know if we'll use it to replace the foil in the bottom for this little guy that comes out here. Oh, look, and the foil didn't even come with it. So, yeah, we'll probably replace that. What do you think? You think it's good? One of my neighbors just walked by outside and could totally hear me, but I just kept talking and I don't even know what I said because I was like, well, I can't stop talking now, then I'll know that I stopped because he saw me. So, yeah, I felt kind of nerdy, but... Like, anyone taking trash out, don't mind me just sitting in. All right, Moo, can you not get into, like, freaking everything, my love? Thank you. Thanks, darling. Off the counter. <laughs> Anywho, I am, the reason I actually thought of the air fryer is I'm gonna make myself a potato. I bought a bag of potatoes and I need to get better about finishing all the food that I purchased. So I've had probably three of them so far. I've been throwing them in the air fryer here and I looked up online just an easy air fryer way to do it. And they just say, clean it, stab it, 25 minutes in the air fryer at, is it 350? Mm. I should know this now. 350. And just on air fryer. And just 
take it out and enjoy. They did say initially to like put oil on it, but I did that the first time. I wanted to have a very specific, um, I wanted to try it with and try it without. And there wasn't a huge difference. It was a little crispier and maybe a little easier to cut into when I had the oil, but I didn't feel like there was a big flavor difference. So I'm not anti-oil by any means. I just figure there's enough oil in a lot of the other things that I eat where it's like already made into it. So I don't feel the need to add it to as many things that I make from scratch. It goes in some things, but just not everything that other people might typically put oil on. And that's that. And then I also wanted to show you our midway state here with all of the pantry items. So these are obviously the containers that we got last time that I've semi been utilizing. Uh, these are on here just in case I was going to write what they are in the meantime. They're all eventually going to have a permanent label that matches this guy here, like the nutritional yeast. But I knew that this was cornmeal and this was sugar, so I never ended up writing anything. But we've got salt, baking soda, baking powder. Did not want to get those confused. I've done that before and it was terrible. So I wrote baking soda on one, left the other one blank. Obviously it's going to be the other. And then this is just an egg replacement. So. That's what it's looking like so far. I have the intent to switch basically everything down here into those spice jars and then everything up here into the wood jars and stack them. And then I guess we do have down here these two hiding. I love this size. I just don't know if it makes sense to also do these in ones that tall. It will take up a lot less space on the counter. But, for example, like, I just made waffles and it took three cups of oats and now it's, like, all the way down there. So, trying to figure out what makes the most sense. This guy just dinged, also, air fryer bananas. That can't be a good mix. I'm going to move those. <laughs> Looking good. Nice and crispy. And I'm honestly just going to mash it. That is some steam. Yeah, because last time my issue was I tried to kind of chop it and into cubes, and it was hard for me to cut it when I didn't do it with oil. So, got a potato smasher. Why not use that? And then also, an update on the other bouquet that I made, because I didn't show you guys in the other video. This is what I did with the extra flowers. And I don't believe I'd used this vase for a bouquet like this before. And then just for fun, these are the books that I'm reading right now. My friends and I are both reading Where the Crowd Ends Sing, which I had no idea what it was about and didn't even know it was going to be a movie. And my friend suggested that we read it together because she had two copies. So that's really good. I'm almost done with it. And then um, I'll suggest we watch a movie together because why not? That would be fun. Um, working Hard or Hardly Working, Grace Beverly. And then Ed Winters. This is Vegan Propaganda. So loving all those so far, kind of switching in between. Depending on my mood at the moment, I'm trying to read every day. I'd like to be able to read like 30 plus minutes a day and it's just something that I'm getting in the habit of. I used to spend a lot more time reading than I do now and I miss it. So I have a ton of books that I wanna read. I'm, as I said, in the middle of these three right now. My husband's actually reading two of them also. And then I have already packed up the books in the library upstairs in the office, but I set aside a good amount that are gonna be out in the tiny house that I really want to read during the time that we're there and then I have all the other books that are packed to come out when we like build the house so yeah little random tidbit and the potatoes are good I just put some salt pepper and garlic powder on them and then I have a little bit of ketchup on the side so I'll munch on that and see what I can do about these spice jars and then I also put on the shorts so these are the shorts that I just got super comfy gonna hang out on these for the rest of the day. And they do have a little pocket in the back. Typically, I like the side pockets. I don't really use the back pocket, but it does have one.
description box below whether they're affiliate links or not just to make your guys lives easier on finding everything but if they are from Amazon I would so appreciate if you actually use the links down below because they are affiliate links and that would help me out so much because as you guys know I'm kind of shifting my focus into doing YouTube and little things like this will really help out so if you're gonna buy it anyways that would be awesome but you know don't buy things you don't need but if you're gonna buy it might as well help each other out Thank you so much for clicking on my video, especially because I'm such a new channel. I am extra appreciative of it because there aren't that many clicks out there sometimes. But I'm really enjoying making this video. I hope you guys are enjoying watching them too. Maybe in this one you're able to find some things you'd like to get. Even if not, thank you so much for hanging out. I'll be continuing to put these videos out on Tuesdays and Fridays. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do make sure that notification bell is on. And I will see you guys next time. See ya. going to Heart House, which is Kevin Hart's brand new in Los Angeles, completely vegan fast foods place. We have arrived to one of the properties, sunscreen officially on, don't mind the shininess, you know, gotta keep the skin happy and healthy. 